Today we learn about how to get distilled water when the taps are dry, the kettles cracked, and the rain glows like a bad mood. You, the blank-eyed wolf, are thirsty. Here, the city is whisper quiet. Power's a rumor. The river hisses like it knows your secrets. You're not drinking that. And you need drinkable water before your organs start auctioning themselves. Build a still. First, grab a beat-up pot and a domed lid. Set a clean jar on a flat rock in the middle, not in the boil. And flip the lid upside down so the peak points at the jar. That's your drip sniper. A small fire underneath, sticks, a camp stove, or the last page of your landlord's lease. Light it gently. Steam rises, baggage stays. If it wheezes, good. If it screams, also good. And the droplets gather and plink into the jar. That sound is survival. If no lid, loot a copper tube from a dead fridge. Ethics are for people with plumbing. At one end on the pot, snake the coil through a wet rag or cold puddle, other end into the jar. Here, hot breath meets cold metal. Condense, plink, plink. The wolf does not huff the mystery vapor. Science time, water turns to vapor. Salts, rust, and most microbes don't. Trash can't ride steam. If it smells like a gas station, distill again. Kick the volatile nasties out twice. And the bonus, solar still, pit, cup, plastic sheet, stone, the sun does the suffering. And the pre-filter the apocalypse soup through cloth or a sock. Your still will thank you by not dying. And check your prize, clear and no stink, is good. If any suspicious, run another round or boil first. And store like a professional animal, cool, dark, sealed, label with a droplet, not mystery juice, and the stash extras in the pack. Tomorrow hates you. Future wolf will be smug. And we go, finally sip slow. Physics wins. Apocalypse loses. The wolf lives another day. Like this content? Help me make more. Please like and subscribe.